Ever pondered upon the saying, neurons that fire together, wire together? This is essentially what the Hebb rule, a fundamental concept in neuroscience, is all about. So what is the Hebb rule? Named after the Canadian psychologist Donald Hebb, this rule is a theory about how brain cells, known as neurons, function and learn. It suggests that when two neurons often interact, they form a stronger connection. In other words, the more frequently a neuron triggers another, the easier it becomes to trigger that neuron in the future. Imagine this scenario, you're learning to play a musical instrument. At first, it's challenging. You fumble with the notes, unsure of the rhythm. But as you continue to practice, it becomes easier. The sequences of notes become second nature. According to the Hebb rule, this is because the neurons responsible for these actions are strengthening their connections through repeated interaction. So, you might ask, why is this rule so important? Well, the Hebb rule fundamentally underpins our understanding of learning and memory formation. It explains why practice makes perfect and why repetition is such a vital part of learning. To recap, the Hebb rule is a theory that explains how neurons strengthen their connections through repeated interaction. It highlights the importance of frequent interaction in learning and memory formation. It underscores why we get better at tasks through repetition and practice. So, the next time you're learning something new or perfecting a skill, remember the Hebb rule. Each time you practice, you're not just getting better at the task, you're also strengthening the connections between your neurons, making it easier for you to perform the task in the future. In a world where learning and adapting are essential, Understanding the Hebb rule could give us a fascinating insight into how we learn and, in turn, how we can enhance our learning capability. So, next time you're practicing something, just think about those neurons firing and wiring together, making you better each time. Fascinating, isn't it?